Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Uh, hey, who do you struggle to be kind to? Do you struggle to be kind to servers in restaurants when they get your order wrong or they just ignore you? Do you struggle to be kind to people who drive slow in the left lane? Oh wait, that's me. Do you, do you struggle to be kind to those who disagree with you politically? Or, or what about people of other faiths? Do you struggle to be kind to them? Uh, the Apostle Jude, in his little letter, in fact, it's the last little letter before we get to Revelation in the New Testament, simply says this, verse 22, and have mercy on those who doubt. Have mercy on those who doubt. Don't ridicule people who doubt. Don't be hostile to them. Don't exclude them or remove them from your fellowship. Show them mercy. Show them mercy. Why, why would we do that? Uh, well, we do that because Jesus actually loved honest questions. Now, he didn't like trick questions or questions designed to trap somebody in an answer. He loved people who were honestly seeking the truth. You know, Scripture says that if we seek God, we will find him when we seek him with all of our heart. And, and so people who are doubting, who are struggling with faith, they're not the enemy. They're not somebody who needs to be you know, ostracized or kicked out. Uh, instead, we, we want to encourage them because they're asking honest questions. Hey, also, the way to increase faith is not to scold people or demean people or ostracize people, but to encourage them and teach them in love. That's how we grow disciples. And by the way, I, as I mentioned before, I love questions, even questions from doubt, because all of us go through periods where sometimes we have doubts and we need someone to help us figure things out, answer those questions. Now, on the other hand, if someone is actively seeking to lead people astray from the truth, well, that's a different story. That's a wolf in sheep's clothing and that, that's a whole nother word for the day that we need to deal with that. Different response completely. But let's show mercy to those who doubt. And while we're doing that, let's show mercy to everyone because Jesus said, blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Hey, I want, I want mercy in my life, so I'm going to give mercy to others, including those who doubt. I hope you do the same, and I hope this helps you. Have a blessed day.